Hello, everyone. I thought today we'd do something a little bit different. Instead of showing you my normal electronic stuff, I would go ahead and show you all of the cell phones that I have used over the years. Um, some of them work, some of them don't work, some of them will not charge up, and some of them I do not have the power cords to anymore. But it just it'll be kind of fun just to kind of look through them. Uh, I have a lot of them, so let's get into it. So first, this one right here is one of the original Motorola flip phones. This actually, my brother and I shared this phone uh, probably back in about 1994 is when we had this. Back in these days, with these phones, instead of just having a little plug to plug in to charge it, you had this, these great big, huge charging stations. Now, this one's kind of unique because this one actually has a two-charge thing. So what you would do is you would have, which I'll show you in a second, the, the battery is attached to the back of the phone. And then in the back here, you could buy a separate battery and slide down here and have it charging. <clears throat> and it has little, has little LEDs to show you what, which, which one is charging. Uh, unfortunately, the battery's no good in this. Let's take it out and have a peek at it here. So it just slides out. Have a better look at the charger there. So this actually flips open. It's got the buttons. Let's try to get a little closer here. <clears throat> and then here's the battery on the back. Oh, and then it's got the antenna that you slide in and out. Uh, let's see if I can get this thing off here. So then this, if you wanted, this just slides off. And you can actually put this back in here and let it charge. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty good sized battery. And then the other cool thing is it actually lists everything this phone can do as far as uh, which buttons to push and, and what to do. Focus in a little bit on this first quick second here. And I remember this particular phone back in the days with the phone plans. It actually charged you to turn this phone on. Whenever you would turn the phone on, it would charge you a couple of cents. Uh, up next is my Samsung. This is an SCH 3500. This was actually my very first flip phone for myself. This also was one of the first phones that you can get the internet on. Uh, of course, it would charge you for the internet. Uh, the main thing I used to do with this a lot was I would uh, I'd check my email on it. Uh, I got this phone in probably 99 or 2000, if I remember correctly. Might have even been 98. Uh, this phone actually... Still powers up. The clip's broke, so that's why there's tape on it. And this one also has a antenna you can pull in and out. Go ahead and flip this open, have a quick look at. For some reason, this right here is really sticky. I guess just from age. So we can have a quick look at this thing here. Now this one will power up. Let's see if I can get it to go here. There we go. Um, I may do a future video on this kind of get a little more in depth on it and it you know and oddly enough it's gets that's i didn't change this when i powered it up yesterday to see if it worked it gave me the the times off but it gave me the correct date and also that phone had a pretty good decent sized charger kind of the same thing as the motorola Up next is a little Motorola V220. Uh, this was my first camera phone. Uh, as you can see, it's just pretty basic. Uh, so this phone was after the Samsung I just showed you. Um, I got this one in probably 2003, I would imagine. And this, unfortunately, this phone will, will not work. Uh, I do not have a charger cord for it. 
So this was a pretty neat little phone. I like this little phone. Uh, moving on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of the older generation remembers these old Nokias. Uh, this one's actually a 5165. This one sort of wants to power up. Uh, but for those of you that remember, these things would hold a battery charge for like, it seemed like an entire week. You can make calls on it, you could play games on it, and you still had battery, battery left. Uh, I had a black case on it, but I decided to put a red one on it just to kind of make it stand out from everybody else's. Uh, this one's next. Uh, this one, actually, as you can see, it's powered up. There's no SIM card in it. And then the battery holds a charge. Display still works. Take a quick look at it here. I got this phone. This phone's probably from 2005, I would imagine. And unfortunately, there's not much to this phone. Uh, this is a. This doesn't even have a camera in it. Up next is this uh, Sony Ericsson. This was my favorite, one of my favorite phones. Uh, this thing always just looked really cool. And unfortunately, this is one that I can't power up because I do not have a uh, charger cord for it. But this one was neat because one, it's a camera phone. And this was one of the first ones that I could download uh, ringtones to, I remember. Uh, I started using this one right after that other one I just showed you, the uh, the V197. Cause I didn't, I had that, I did not like that phone, so I had to get something else. So I stepped up to this, and you can't see it, but right here, if it was powered up, you would actually see that there's actually a display inside of here, which is really cool. And then here's what it looks like. It has a had a pretty good size screen on it, which I really liked. So I had some ringtones downloaded to this. I don't remember what they are, but. Uh, yeah, this was this was one of my favorite phones. And then shortly after the Ericsson, I got this little pile of junk. Uh, this is a... Actually, I don't know what this is. I can't find a model number on it. I know it's an LG. I know that much. Um, not much to it. This one's got a pretty good size screen, too. This one wasn't a bad phone. I just, I liked my Ericsson a lot better. And to this day, I don't know why I decided this was an upgrade for my Ericsson. Okay, next up is, this was my first sort of attempt at a, a smartphone. This one actually had the touch screen. Uh, this is an LG Rumor Touch. I got this in probably 2008. Uh, and the neat thing with this is it's got the it's got the little slide out keyboard, and believe it or not, oh, and it's all chewed up. Our uh, our dog got a hold of it one time and just chewed it up pretty good, and she actually she actually chewed the back of it off too. So I don't have a back to it, but this thing actually does power up still. Let's see if it's still got the battery. Yep. Yep, there we go. And of course, telling me that there's no, no service. Uh, that was my wallpaper. I'm still even back then. I was into the Sims series. I'm still into the Sims series. So let's go ahead and turn this back off. I always miss those little tones. <laughs> Okay, so by about 2012, I believe, is when I actually stepped up to an actual smartphone. Uh, this is a, this is a, what is it? Oh, this is an LG. This is the V20. This was a pretty good phone for its time. Uh, it still works, still powers up. Um, I do not have it connected to the internet, obviously. Uh, I could still play some of my old games on it. Uh, it still will actually, it'll still uh, plug in. It'll still hold the charge. And believe it or not, I still use this for an alarm clock. And I took it to a, a concert 
and recorded some things on it, and there was absolutely no distortion whatsoever. So, but this still still works just fine. V220. So, of course, after the uh, LG V20, we had another smartphone that me and my wife actually leased. And we turned those in to get a different phone. Well, we didn't like those either, so we got rid of those. And then the one I have now is was actually what I'm recording on right now. So this this one is an uh this one's an LG. It's an S10 or something like that. I can't think of it right off the top of my head. Uh this was actually my work phone. This is actually a Nextel. Just button and you would just talk into it. It was like a basically a walkie-talkie. Uh we got these for, at work in about two from a, in about 2007. Uh this one, unfortunately, will not power up, but I just decided to hang on to it for nostalgias. So there we go. There is a look at most of the cell phones that I have owned over the years. Uh, like I said, I don't have a couple of them. Uh, well, seeing that this video kind of dragged on longer than I thought it would, I'm going to go ahead and end things right here. So if you like my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and I will have more stuff soon. So as always, thank you for watching.